Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Warsaw. Uh, before we go any further, I remembered that I bought a skill for the Doctor and didn't actually put it into his, uh, his like, equip skills. So, yeah, intensive care. Uh, that should have been something we've had for a while. But uh, either way, that I don't think it would have helped. Uh, Walda, it's gonna take some time to heal, so are you, Lucian, and, uh, Carl are all gonna have to take time to heal, so we're just down to... Yeah, not, not a lot. Do we have... Yeah, looks like we've got a decent group going. Uh, first things first, I want to repair the SMG and the revolver. So, Smith & Wesson MP1905. That's got to be better than what uh, our medic's using. And uh, PPD-40. Force back and controlled fire. We'll check and see if that's better than what Carl's got. Oh, he's got something as well. Burn. Destroy. Put destroy in there. Weapons... 8.15. Put you in there. Check you got an Enfield. This is definitely better than your Enfield. That'll help. Yeah, and with those weapons, we'll sell them for a little bit extra cash. Or resources, I guess. Buy a couple of compasses. that back. Okay. Let's check the codex as well, because it's been a while since we checked. Character-wise. Silent Unseen. Likes good smoke. Dislikes English food. Well, it is very greasy. A paratrooper of the Silent Unseen, the Special Operations Forces of the Polish Army in Exile, he dropped into Poland on the eve of 1943. Alright. Five missions. I don't know. I don't think we've done five missions with her. Kristoff is dead. So is uh, Casimir's. Uh, weapons. Some G. The Lightning uh, is the end result of the Polish resistance movement's attempt to create a reliable homemade gun that could be manufactured both in clandestine conditions and without specific knowledge, uh, specialist knowledge. Borrowing elements from other popular weapons, for example, the barrel of the British. Uh, Sten and the magazine configuration of the MP40. The gun's design was intended to make efficient use of commonly salvaged enemy materials and equipment. Nice. Mod of Cocktail, originally coined by the Finns to deride the Soviet foreign minister, uh, Molotov, I don't know how to pronounce his first name. A Molotov cocktail is a catch all term for a uh, broad spectrum of improvised incendiary devices. While the specifics may vary, it can safely, it can be safely assured that this that any of these cocktails will employ some variation of a bottle, flammable substance, and a burning cloth wick. TT-33. The, uh, the TT embodies the wartime Red Army's philosophy well, for it was made to be cheaper, simpler, and more robust than the Western counterparts due to its employed Mauser grade 7.62 by 25 millimeter Tokarev car cartridge. Uh, the pistol possesses impressive stopping power and respectable penetration. However, this extra kick also tends to impair the TT's accuracy. Alright, not bad. We find any new enemies? AT Trooper. While well, basic anti-vehicle guns are accessible to the majority of the German army, specialized individuals trained uh, in the use of the Panzerschreck uh, rocket launcher may also be observed on the battlefield. Such operators are considerably more popular in dense urban infrastructure, while traditional combat vehicles tend to lose their edge. SS Grenadier, members of the 3rd SS Panzer Division to uh, Totenkopf, or Death's Head, have been employ uh, deployed to Warsaw as part of the 300-strong group to reinforce the city in the event of an uprising. They are renowned for having been formed from concentration camp guards. Guard units. Marksmen, nickname Pigeon Fenciers. 
by uh, Varstovians? Don't know. Or uh, Rosovians? Either way, I think Warsaw uh, residents. For their affinity for high altitude firing nests, these marksmen have been known to recruit from military and civilian stock alike, often acting as saboteurs and infiltrators within areas controlled by the uprising. As such, many resistance fighters consider them something akin to boogeymen, often to the point of paranoia. And officer. Officer. Bearing the markings of a lieutenant or the lowest uh, officer grade of the Wehrmacht, such soldiers of import are distinguishable from enlisted personnel by different insignia and style of uniform. Traditionally understood as positions of authority, the rank is nonetheless uh, Conspicuous enough to include everything from infantry leaders to assistant surgeons. Okay. So, some uh, codex entries there. I don't think there's much else we can do. Uh, we did lose more individuals. Some insurgents. I think we should go ahead and do our next mission. Yeah. Let's see. Can we up your... So you're the lowest. You're about ready to, to conk out. So you're probably priority on here. Let's see what missions we've got. No missions for him, unfortunately. Let's see. Collect supplies from hidden stashes throughout the city. Duration five days. We get an MG for that, which might be useful. That would be somewhat useful. Repel German forces for. Get a rifle for that. Nothing there. Secure the district. We get an MG for that. Okay, 51, 29. Yep, your priority because you have the lowest morale. So secure the district for duration th three days, and we get a MG, which it will still be useful. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and deploy. We'll have access to mostly insurgents, but we do have our medic. Deploy there. Review deploy there. Review as a rifle. Yeah, and you, point a group. Don't have heavy ordnance, so we'll off that, take that off, take compass and flares. All right, so we're looking to secure the district for three days. Okay. Got some loot and events, so if we do those three, we'll have to fight one battle. Let's go ahead and use a compass. Okay, what do we got? Revolver, long ammo, and bandages. Bandages will be useful. Okay, got a patrol there. there. Okay, we're at the northernmost extent of the district. Let's head south. There are seven battles going on. Okay, that's a battle. Hi. Damn it. Alright, well, if we only have to fight this one, we'll be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and first things first, ploy, decrease their activations. That'll be good for us. We are behind cover as well, so that'll help. Pelling fire. These are not required. Oh, we have to be one forward. Okay, well, we got a man stopper. So that's something. Uh, but let's do an open fire on you. Down. 
Let's miss on one of them. Snapshot. Good hit. A wildfire there. Okay, quick fix. First aid on you. Critted. That's nice. A little bit of fire. It's not that bad, though. Alright, good hit. Stay diamond. Okay, missed there. Another crit on the flame troppin. Yet the ties. A bit of wildfire. Existed a bit. Damn, can't do that. Uh, all right. Hand stopper in the back. Missed. Damn it. Okay, missed her. Okay, another hit. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll go with you because you don't have an, a disadvantage with blinding or on fire. Good hit. Wish he was bleeding, so he could actually. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. First things first. Let's go ahead and get rid of your things, there, buddy. Do. Good hit there. Control. Couple of hits. Good fix both of us. Kill the flame trumpet. Do all right. Big hit on him. Not the worst though. Not the worst. Could go ahead and heal him. He's bleeding. Crit of three. Ploy. Get rid of their actions. Helping hand you. First aid you. Yeah, yeah. Drawing her out. Okay, that actually gives her repelling fire. Which she misses. Okay. 
Okay, start laying down fire instead of healing. Okay, let's crit. Okay, good hit there. Himself up a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit of destroyed cover. Repelling fire. Good. Drawing him out. Heal that boy up. Okay, we lost one insurgent. Okay, full effort on the damage this turn. on her. Good, good. Data. Drawing him out. Okay. Best there. Heal up. Do. Okay, not that bad. Damn it. Missed again. 18 damage on her. Not, not the greatest. Move him out of cover. Big hit there. Heal him up, then she can heal this line up. The greatest. Big hit there. Don't shoot her. Okay, good. That one we can deal with. First aid herself. Might lose another one here. Three damage. Still up. Okay, that's a dead one. I hate these guys, they blind. There we go, there we go. Get out of that line. <clears throat> Give this guy a shot. Never mind, he's dead. Miss. 
Be great if she could actually heal the bricks. <laughs> Ugh, bad shot. Okay, that hit. It's a miss. Okay. There we go. He's dead. Good hit there. Thirteen. Not bad. Three damage isn't that bad either. She can't do man stoppers, so she can just do heals. Crits, good. Crit for the heal. Damn it. So that's a round of fire gone. Heal both. We can now heal his damage at least. Here we go. Some damage. And a miss. Damage. He's almost dead. And the miss. There we go. <sighs> we did lose two individuals, but we're we're okay. Now we need to avoid combat at all costs. And go for the loot and the event. This way. Outside of this team's radius. Okay, never mind. Got to find that event and that loot. Got the event. Your team arrives at a Ranchak street outpost. Whoever once occupied this place has abandoned it completely, leaving behind a gruesome souvenir. The eviscerated body of an unknown man, spread on a nearby fence with a rope and wire. Broken beyond recognition of what must have been hours of torture, the corpse does not have anything that could reasonably identify it. For all you know, it might, have well, it might as well have been a Nazi soldier. 
Now, however, comes the question of what to do with the discovery. Let's do some dexterity. Let's get the outpost for supplies. Get a bandage. Okay. So now we need a loot. Great. Gotta think about this. All right, we're gonna go around. I think there's a way of getting to it under the cover of buildings. Two guys down, I don't think we have the ability of fighting a battle. Yep. Complete mission. Damn it. 75. September 1st, at least. Caught in the fire. What is that? Captive, uh... Zeli Zerai, soldier bearing the markings of one of the enemy's special regiments, is brought before your team. Uh, it's weird. Uh, his captors explain that he has been identified as one of the participants of the civilian massacres in the Wole district. As for the man himself, as far as you can tell from his feverish tone, he appears to be trying to plead his case, but you cannot say for sure what language he speaks. Academics? Let's get you up there. Unfortunately, your efforts to communicate only serve to frustrate the situation further. After many, many uh, repeated failures, you delegate the situation. Damn it. War's not going well. Day 32. Just a hair over 400,000 people left in the city alive. Okay, you're actually pretty close to being okay. Uh, do have a revolver. Repair, see what we got. A label. Sell that. Cannot rank up. You can, though, and that give you force target to activate at the end of the turn. It's an impediment. Okay. Afflictive mix, add a random negative effect. So debuffs. We'll rank you up. Do that. So the doctor will be a little bit better. Let's pick up another one of our random fighters. You should probably rank up at some point as well. Okay. But looking at the time, that's going to be the end of this episode. So yeah, things aren't going the best, but we're still holding on. We will continue to fight because that is all that is presented to us at this point. We must fight. <sighs> but We'll have to do that in the next episode. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Just hit that like button. If you want to help support the channel, consider the subscribe button down below, as well as take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye.